Okay, Matt the Mortgage Guy here. I'm creating this video to talk about can I qualify for a mortgage without showing any income? Now, the quick and dirty answer to this is sure, there are mortgage programs that are out there where you can qualify without any income, but I wanna talk about qualifying for conventional loans, a standard loan without showing any income and what I've been hearing, what people have been asking, and just clearing all that stuff up. So before I get into it, please lightly press the uh, thumbs up button. Consider subscribing to the channel. Straightforward, honest advice when it comes to real estate and mortgage. So let's jump into it. The, the premise of this video and the inspiration for it, like most of my videos, is talking to clients and really after hearing some of the same stuff three, four, five, 15 times, I realized, okay, Folks don't really understand how this works. I wanna make a video, educate as many folks as possible. So when you're applying for a loan, and when I say loan, I understand that there's loans out there that are considered non-QM and you can do a loan without showing any income. You can do it based on bank statements or you can do a, a debt service loan where you do it off of how much uh, the, the property is receiving in rental income. Those are not the loans I'm talking about. Sure, they're available, but to get a standard loan, like most people are looking for, um, you know, conventional financing, you have to show income because they're qualifying you based on your ability to repay, which is current debts plus new mortgage versus income. If that falls into a certain bucket under a certain debt to income ratio, you qualify. And if it doesn't, you don't. Here's where people are getting confused. I understand 100% the reasoning and, and the mindset behind, hey, listen, I've got $1.2 million in the bank. I've got four properties that cash flow. I won't have any problem paying this mortgage. But if you're somebody like that scenario, plenty of money in the bank, I could pay this mortgage off cash if I wanted to, but you don't show income, we can't qualify you for a conventional mortgage. Now, there are some caveats. If you're of retirement age, you've got certain monies that is you know, set up for distributions. Those distributions can be counted as income. And sometimes what happens is, you know, to qualify, to be completely honest, somebody sets up a, dist a monthly distribution, five or $6,000. As long as you can show that it, you have enough in there for continuance, for it to be paid over the next 36 months and still have money left, then you can use that money as income. But for the vast majority, I'm gonna use this example because um, it, it's funny, but I don't blame people because they just don't know any better. Talking to a client recently and in his eyes, even though on paper, his self-employed business breaks even, meaning he makes no money on paper, he was arguing or stating to us that since he has money in the bank and a collection of vintage cars that are worth in excess of $200,000, that he should be approved for this loan, no problem. Now, I empathize with folks, you know, and I'm not gonna laugh at this guy's face and tell him that is not how you qualify for a mortgage. Not with a picture of a vintage car. The underwriter might like it, might think it's cool, but it's not how they qualify a loan. So the moral of the story is the guidelines and the rules for conventional loans are the same for everybody. They're the same for the guy who's got a $5 million net worth and the guy who's got a $30,000 net worth. Monthly income on paper that you can prove if it's a W-2 job, you, can, you show a W-2. If it's self-employed borrower, you show tax returns and a, and a profit and loss from this year. But either way, they're taking income and they're stacking it up against all your debts and the new mortgage and they're saying, okay, 37% of your total income is what you have in debts plus the mortgage. That's a debt to income ratio that you qualify under. Your credit report gets pulled just the same, whether you're worth 5 million or 30,000, that score gets taken into consideration. But just because you have net worth does not make you more credit worthy for the most part to a lender. They still need you to qualify based on income. Now I said that with a little bit of caveat because sure, having assets helps the file. Having a million dollars in the bank helps, but it doesn't take the place of the income. So hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions at all, Matt, 
M-A-T-T at mattthemortgageguy.com. Shoot me an email. I'm licensed and can help you in California with any of your financing needs, one to four uh, units, residential stuff. If you're outside the state, I'm happy to refer a mortgage broker from uh, most any other state. I've got somebody who I like and trust who I can refer you to that's not gonna screw up my good reputation. All right, thanks for watching.